Welcome to another episode of Mindset Monday. Today we're gonna to be talking about the importance of believing in yourself. Now, have you ever heard the saying, the person that believes they will succeed and the person that believes they will fail are both normally right? Now, this statement really does show the importance of believing in yourself. Your thoughts create actions. So if you believe that you're gonna succeed, your actions will be in alignment with that belief. But if you believe that you're gonna fail, your actions will be in alignment with that belief too. We all have negative beliefs and we all have positive beliefs. So where do these beliefs come from? They come from our life experiences and they can stem right back from our childhood, from things we observe or are told by our parents, our teachers, our friends and family. So what are some of these negative beliefs that might be holding us back? There are things like, I'm not good enough. I'm not old enough. I'm too old. I'm not smart enough. I'll never be happy. I'm a failure. Now these are just some of the negative beliefs that hold us back. And they can really have a negative impact on the quality of our life. By focusing on what you don't want is a sure way of getting it. So how do we change these limiting beliefs? One way of doing this is, have you ever had a, something that you're working towards, it might have been a goal, something that you're wanting to achieve, and a voice comes into your head that says why you can't achieve it? Now that could be your limiting belief. So let's look at an example of if I was wanting to start a business and I was working towards starting the business and this little voice in my head said, you can't do this, you're a failure. So my limiting belief would be that I'm a failure. The next step, once you're aware of that as being your limiting belief, the next step is to look at creating as much evidence around why that belief is untrue. So in this instance, we could look at all the life successes we have had. Doesn't matter how big or small they are, the more that you can evidence that you can get around why that belief is untrue, the better. The next step is to come up with a new empowering belief. And that's what I've done over here in this example. So the new belief could be, if I work hard, I will either succeed or learn. And the great thing about this new belief is it says that to succeed, you, you do need to work hard, and you're not always gonna succeed, but if you don't succeed, you're gonna learn something. So either way, there's a positive outcome. So when you are adding in these new beliefs, I only want you to do it one at a time. You've got to remember a lot of these beliefs have been with you for an entire lifetime, so they're not gonna just change overnight. One way that you can really lock these new beliefs in is to come up with a positive affirmation that confirms that new belief to be true. Or in this example, you could just have that as your affirmation. I work, if I work hard, I will either succeed or learn. Okay, so let's, let's go through these steps one at a time. Step one, you're gonna become aware of what your limiting belief is. Step two, you're gonna build up evidence around why that belief is untrue. And then with that evidence, you're gonna come up with a new empowering belief. And then once you've got that new empowering belief, you're gonna come up with a daily affirmation to reaffirm that new belief. Okay, so it's four easy steps. Please give it a go, and I look forward to seeing you again next week on Mindset Monday.